Hey guys, welcome back to Online Small Engine Mechanics. Today we have the Snapper Rear Engine Rider, and I had already made a video on this on how to replace the solenoid on this. Um, but a, a brief history, so I got this mower for free, fixed it and sold it, and about a month later, the customer called me saying that when he would engage the blades, the blade would hit the deck and sparks would come out of the chute. Um, so I thought maybe that the blade head came undone from the spindle, and it did not. The whole spindle had broken off the deck. So that's gonna be showing you guys how to do today um, on how to replace the spindle. Um, and for this repair, we're gonna need to take this entire mower deck off. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that in just a second, stay tuned. So first what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take off that black cover right there. And um, it, made, it was a little difficult to get it off at first. Um, so, I did it off camera. Um, next, what you're gonna wanna do is remove your, your deck belt, your mower belt, mower deck belt, and you have to get it off of also off of this tensioner. So you have to, uh, I'm gonna be putting a vice grip underneath the nut here because there's a nut on the bottom of this tensioner. There's that. And this is a, 15 millimeter socket on my impact. All right, there's that. That came right off. Came right off. Okay, now we got our deck belt off. Next, what you need, you're gonna need to do is disconnect your blade control um, wire. So this is a 3 8 socket. You can take that off um, right there and you also have to disconnect it from the foot pedal right there. And also you need to disconnect your wiring for your safeties. I'm gonna do this off cameras because I need both my hands. All right, so we got our wiring off and that's for turning on and off the blades. Um, and we also got our um, blade engagement lever or cable, excuse me, off of the foot plate. And in order to do that, you have to use an 11 millimeter socket to get the, the nut off the back. And then you can, uh, the wiring is a eight millimeter or a five sixteenths, so the same thing. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to get these um, arms in the back off to drop the mower deck because that's how we need to take it off since we got everything else disconnected on the mower deck so what you're going to need is a channel lock pliers and you just need to take out your cotter pins and that just comes undone like that and do the same on the other side now It will drop, so just make sure you don't hurt your hand or nothing. There we go. Now it's up, now it dropped. All right, and then next what you need to do is you need to also take the mower deck off the front as well, because the front supports it as well. And there is a pin right there with a clip, and the clip has already came off. So what all you need to do is take your screwdriver and pop that off, there it comes out. And then tap that with a hammer and it should come right out. I'm gonna do that off camera so I can use both my hands. All right, so there's our rod That's a, that was in the front and these holes right here. And now we got the mower deck off. So we're just gonna, we're gonna drag the mower deck off to the side here. And we'll get started on taking the old spindle off and I'll show you exactly what it's doing. All right, so here's the bottom of the deck and this is where it broke off, right here. So this thing moves erratically, causing it to hit the mower deck. And as you can see, there's scrapes on the deck itself and on the mower. So we, uh, we're gonna be taking off this spindle here and a blade and um, getting a different one on there. 
All right, so there's three bolts on the bottom of these blades. Um, the ones on the outer sides are 19 millimeters, and the one on the middle is a 24. And you're definitely gonna need a vice grip because there's bolts on the back. That you, there's nuts on the back you have to take out. Last one out. There it goes. Then I'm gonna have to change out my bits here because I don't have a size that will fit that bit. Just got a 24 right here. And there that goes. That took a little bit. And there's our, and then off comes our blade. That's a big 28 inch blade. And then there's the spindle. And I don't know if this either comes off or not, so I'll have to look at that. All right, so we got the mower deck tip back over again and we're going to take the main pulley off and this is a one and one eighths socket so it's a pretty big nut um so and if you don't have a one and one eighth socket you can get those from menards or if you don't even want to go uh, the next step further just take it to a shop so we're gonna get this off Pulley. Oh, there it goes. All right. So now I'm going to have to look at and see how this pulley will, is going to come out from underneath the deck. All right, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to remove this cup and this piece of like plastic or fabric. I don't really know what that is, maybe like a rubber. Um, and then what you're going to need to do is get yourself some snap ring pliers and there is two snap rings on this thing. There is one right there and then one on the bottom. So in order to get the snap ring off, you're going to need to pull on this, on the snap rings, not, not push because it's in there instead of you're not, you're trying to, um, squeeze it in not pull it apart so i'm going to do this off camera so i can use both my hands all right so that took a while there was a lot of snap rings on this thing really big snap rings that i couldn't even get off with the plier with the uh, snap ring pliers so i had to take a regular pliers and pop them off but i think i got everything off and i also had to take this um plate off so now i'm going to pick this thing up And out comes the spindle. And this one is broken, like I said, on the edge here. And I'm gonna be get I'm gonna get a, a a good used one from a local lawnmower parts dealer. Um, but they do sell new ones of these, and I will include a new one, uh, the new new one link in the description. They sell these on Amazon, and these these range from about 100 to 150 bucks. Um, and they're pretty universal for all of these snapper rear engine riders. So I'm gonna get the new part and we'll go ahead and put it on. All right, everyone. So it's been about a week and a half, two weeks since I first started the video and I decided to um, fix the old spindle rather than replace it with a different one. So what I did was I welded spindle back onto the plate and now it spins and it's uh, not going to hit the deck once I put the blade back on. So now we're going to start reassembling everything and then we'll put the, once we have everything that's supposed to be on the deck back on it, we can put the deck back on the snapper. So 
Um, first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to reconnect this bar and the spring um, to this plate. And this is your blade engagement plate. Um, and that, that goes over this uh, spindle, this spindle cylinder right here. And then to secure it down, you have to take that snap ring again, uh, which I used the pliers for, and uh, get it into one of those grooves. There's two grooves on it. There's one right there, and then the other one's in it. So um, that's what you gotta do first. And then, all right, so we got all three of our snap rings on, and it, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's two, one, one on the bottom and then one right above it. And then there's one in, inside here, right on the top of the spindle. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this cup back on, as I showed earlier in the video. And we have our little piece of um, like plastic rubber thing. I don't really know what it's called. Um, and we got our metal cover. So I have the nut on here, I'm gonna take that off and put the cup right on. And you wanna make sure that it goes on in front of that rubber piece. You don't want it overlapping it. If I can get it on. I'm gonna quick tap it with a hammer. All right, so we got it on. I just had to hit it a couple times with a hammer. It was sticking a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our main blade pulley on. Whoa, whoops. Just kind of trying to keep that out of the way. Um, and it came with two washers, as you saw in the earlier part of the video, I was an idiot and they, all, all the uh, washers came off. They fell everywhere. And gotta put our nut back on. And then we'll tighten that down with the impact. And that's not the right size. Let me go get a different socket. All right, I forgot it was a one and one eighth socket. So now what you're gonna wanna do is Tighten the bolt down that holds the, the pulley. All right, now we can put the blade on and then put it underneath the snapper, um, hook the belt on, get everything else back together and we can get that tensioner on and then we'll see if um, it turns on. All right, we got our blade on and remember that the middle one is a 24 millimeter and these um, side ones are 20 millimeters and you're gonna have to use a um, vice grip to uh, get the back of the bolt um, so they don't spin. And now we're done putting everything else on the deck. So we're gonna pull out the, small, uh, the uh, rear engine rider and put the deck back on it. All right, so we got the mower deck back on. I did this all off camera because it was quite time consuming. Um, we got our uh, switch for the blades back on. We got our belt tensioner on and you also have to use a vice grip to get the bottom nut on and off. So that works now. So now when you pull the lever, it tensions the belt to drive the system. Um, we put our bar on in the front. It's right there with our uh, C-clip. And we got both the chains connected with the uh, clips. So now we're gonna go see if it'll start up and see if the blades will start up. Start up. That's, it's, it's a lot quieter from when I first had this thing. Um, and that's probably due to the spindle because uh, I didn't know it was broken when I sold it to the customer. So um, this thing will be all ready to go now. I just got to put the plastic piece back on to cover up the spindles. And um, then I can call the customer and tell him that it's done and he can be mowing his grass. So I hope I helped you out. Uh, if I did, please consider subscribing like and if you have any questions on what i did because i know i had a i know i had to stop the video a couple of times to do things with both my hands as i have to use one of my hands to hold the camera um at the same time 
So um, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.